In Dragon Ball Fighters, the best defense is a great offense. Whether you're a fan of the classic DP or taking advantage of a specialized 4-frame reversal, utilizing your character's counter moves can give you the competitive advantage in the most stressful situations. However, not all reversals are created equal, as Fighters balances the ability to steal your turn with numerous trade-offs such as high recovery, damage caveats, and additional active frames that leave you vulnerable in the face of wiser opponents. So which reversal offers the biggest reward for your risk? Well, when writing this list, I made sure to consult the community with over 7,000 of you polled. And by the way, if you'd like to make your voice heard for future video essays, subscribe here to this channel to gain access to my community tab and follow me over on Twitter where I throw it to you almost every single day. Now, with the introduction out of the way, it's time to count down the top 10 best reversals in Dragon Ball Fighters. Hey, editing Dr. Blue here. Before we get started, let's take a moment to break down the vocabulary we'll be hearing in today's video. And if you're an experienced player who's just here for the list, navigate the timestamps down below to find your favorite character as we bring everybody else up to speed. When you hear the term guard point, it refers to moves that retain passive blocking during your attack animations. You'll see this happen commonly with characters like Master Roshi and Nappa, who were able to be attacked while taking zero damage during their counter animation. Next, you'll hear the term armor a ton in today's video. Think about this as conditional invulnerability. Every armored move comes equipped with a certain amount of hits it can tank through while charging through its animation. It's a cool game of risk versus reward that leaves you in control of the potential trade-off. Okay, now that we've crashed through, let's begin. Number 10, Base Goku. Base Goku's shoulder check is not only an exceptionally strong whiff punish tool, it's one of the best reversals in the game. While the attack startup animation is 17 frames, it activates its invulnerability on frame 4. Because of this, players are invited to use the move to escape faulty pressure with the additional bonus of non-recoverable damage. As mentioned previously, every 4 frame combo starter does actual damage instead of the usual recoverable blue damage only you'd receive from traditional frame 1 starters. And while there are numerous trade-offs between the two, Base Goku's 4 frame has become a personal favorite of his mains, covering large portions of the screen in neutral or even as a combo extender when connecting raw from super dashes for increased damage. Either way, you won't go wrong exploiting this whiff strike within your game plan. Number 9, Piccolo. Piccolo's quarter circle back special move seems strong to his opponents, but for those in the know, it can be downright oppressive. While certainly his EX variation receives praise for its instant guard point properties, the light and medium variations also boast significant advantages. The light quarter circle back has strong guard point properties that activate on frame 4, and is fully invincible near the latter half of its animation. Yet the medium version retains the same stats, while also boasting cross-up properties and forcing the opponent to block high. While these moves appear to have slower startup animations that vary from 30 to 41 frames, the animation itself, paired with its guard point and invul properties, are used as a strong bait to lure unwary opponents into mashing out of Piccolo's pressure. It's an exceptionally strong option that leaves them safe on block, and an easy introduction into today's Top 10. Number 8. Android 17. Android 17 is one of the largest anomalies in Dragon Ball Fighters. He launched to a critically poor reception and over time has been largely ignored by the community, but in my personal opinion, sleeping on this character is a massive mistake. He's an exceptionally strong character with every tool to mix you, cause big damage, and engage pressure to the fullest extent, despite having stubby normals. And while a ton of his moves have air and vulnerability at frame 4, I'd like to shine focus on his quarter circle forward and quarter circle back EX motions. Both variations will lead to a strong cross-up option that can then be cancelled for an additional half bar for his barrier reversal. What makes it so strong in my opinion is the ability to layer the offensive strategy with potential stagger pressure. If the opponent chooses to challenge it correctly, they'll be blown up by 17's follow-up blast, and if they do nothing, he can continue his oppressive Rekka gauntlet for another tricky block string. This character is a powerhouse, and while this only scratches the surface of his capacity, he's a strong option when considering the most underrated characters in the game. Number 7, Janimba. While many of us have grown wise to Janimba's potential, I firmly believe we've just scratched the surface. 
Well, he lacks a true DP. He comes equipped with two very strong four frame options. The first, potentially his most attractive reversal, is his 2-2-S. This projectile reversal comes with a quick activation that allows him to play a strong counter pick to many projectile privileged top tiers, guaranteeing a follow up punish that cannot be escaped with vanish nor super. It allows Janimba to move freely towards the opponent and engage his offense with 30 frames of block stun. Additionally, if his move connects, he can follow up anywhere on screen for a full combo that deals non recoverable damage. However, his teleportation special is also especially gifted at evading offensive pressure. Activate at 4 frames and giving him full mobility to either escape his opponent or close the gap depending on his gambit. All around, these options are relatively low risk for exceptional reward and will benefit competitors of almost every playstyle. Number 6. The Classic DP This is perhaps the most contentious listing in this entire essay. And I understand why as well, as a strong DP can give you frame 1 priority over your opponent and steal your turn back with a force of 10,000 yipes. Ugh, get off me! However, it's a testament to the remaining characters on this list that this timeless mechanic falls short of today's top 5. Let me explain. While Team Gohan, Adult Gohan, Videl, UI Goku, Cooler, Gogeta, Beerus, and SSJ Vegeta have access to frame 1 reversals, the majority lack the ability to follow up aside from vanish calls and raw supers. Compounded with the fact that they deal recoverable health means that a quick tack out or a spark will allow the opponent to undo your damage. However, when at low health and in high pressure situations, there is hardly a better mechanic to have at your disposal. To highlight a few exceptional members of this category, UI Goku's DP has a dual sided hitbox and a fully vertical beam, allowing him to prevent cross ups and instant air dash overheads. Cooler's DP allows him to choose which side to place the opponent, fortifying corner steals and allowing for great pressure. And one of my favorite DPs in the game is easily Gogeta Blues, offering a dual sided hitbox in his light and medium versions to beat Vanish, as well as a strong gut punch in his EX Heavy DP, which will not only side switch on the ground for follow up corner combos, but is air okay as well for maximum sauce. This classic mechanic is exceptionally strong, and depending on the player, I can see the argument for a higher placement. But regardless of our opinions, it is a fantastic addition to any toolset. Number 5. Master Roshi if you would have asked me pre-nerf, I would have placed Master Roshi's Martial Spirit as a top 3 reversals in Dragon Ball Fighters, but it's a testament to the variety of counters in his toolset that he still finds himself breaking today's top 5. While by now we're accustomed to seeing his quarter circle back special animation thanks to his fantastic B assist, the recent nerf, and if you ask some, buff in special circumstances, forced a 3 frame gap after his first strike. Yet because the quickest normal attack in fighters is 6 frames, this move will still frame trap most reversal attempts such as jabs and vanish. However, wise opponents with 3 bars of meter can easily turn the tide on Roshi's gambit and punish him for huge damage. Yet this isn't enough to write the move off completely, as most Roshi mains are galaxy brain tech enthusiasts who likely have 3 aces up their sleeve to condition you away from this option. Additionally, as one viewer pointed out in the community tab, he does have one caveat that might make this reversal a less attractive option as seen here. If you do decide to throw out this move as intended, be sure to activate it directly on top of your opponent to avoid whiffing before his armor activates. I'd like to give a big thank you to Ernestus for the find and for making your knowledge accessible to the community through their polling comments while researching this video. Now, on top of his more celebrated martial spirit, he also has a strong down-down motion that provides an excellent 4-frame reversal as well as an EX variation that acts as a frame 1 counter that causes sliding knockdown. Roshi is a strategist dream, and while I personally believe he was on the receiving end of an unneeded nerf, it warms an old man's heart to see the Turtle Hermit remain a viable contender within the meta. Number 4. Hit Hit has a reversal toolkit that leaves him nothing short of entering today's top 5. To start, despite lacking a traditional key blast, the developers blessed him with a strong frame 1 counter, giving him excellent priority against mash happy opponents. This reversal attached to his special button can be used on the ground with an attached strike punish that can be followed up with assist or supers for non recoverable health, or in the air that leaves hit with considerable plus frames against his opponent. 
However, it's his EX stance that really steals the show, with full frame 1 invulnerability throughout the animation that can be followed up with a series of options. The light follow up will deliver a strong strike, the medium will side swap and cause sliding knockdown on hit, and the heavy will cross up for a strong kick that can be followed up solo for non recoverable health. This is what makes hit so strong in my opinion. As mentioned previously, while traditional DPs are exceptionally great tools, they leave a character at an extreme disadvantage when whiffed and deal recoverable health if the combo doesn't kill. Hit, on the other hand, is not only invulnerable on frame 1 during the animation, but completely safe on block on every option aside from his light time strikes. It would be a crime to put him lower than today's top 4, and a solid argument can be made for an even higher placement. Number 3, Z Broly. We did it boys, we finally made a list where Z Broly isn't top 2, but even that's debatable. In terms of reversals, Broly's Armored Lariat is an absolute icon within the fighting game community. Equipped with 10 points of armor, his lariats can carry you full screen and cause massive damage when either chained with super or follow up assist calls. Yet by now, every tournament pro and net player knows the value of this mechanic, and I think it's worth explaining why it's actually the rest of his toolset that secured him top 3. First, the majority of his normals can be objectively classified as counters, as his medium and heavy inputs each come with one point of armor attached. Because their armor begins with the ninth frame of activation, this will likely beat all subsequent attacks from your opponent, aside from outliers such as Vegito's kicks and other multi-hit moves. Further, the same priority is given to his air medium and jumping heavy attacks, while admittedly losing to anti-air moves such as 2H. And then of course, you have his eraser blow. This quarter circle forward special comes equipped with one point of armor. This can be an exceptionally strong tool when considering how the eraser blow will frame trap at the end of his traditional strings, allowing the one point of armor to catch opponents attempting to mash or super dash out of his plethora of reset options. Broly is a counter character who happens to be a premier zoner and a damage machine in limit break, making him easily one of the best characters in the game and an obvious choice for today's top. Top three. Now before we get into today's top two, I'd like to bring up some honorable mentions. Nappa's too bad guard point reversal is one of my favorite moves in the game. However, it loses to a strange caveat. While they can counter normal attacks, projectiles will knock him loose of the animation. If he were to receive buffs in the future, I'd like to see this removed so he can plow through with the other top dogs. Additionally, Tien comes equipped with a fantastic medium slide with guard point properties that nearly made this list. On top of his exceptional damage output, this special move allows him to catch mashers and continue his pressure safely. And I can fully understand the arguments if his mains believe him worthy of today's top 10. Additionally, Vegito's barrier is one of the coolest options in his toolset, yet this reversal boasts an unusually high rate of recovery which leaves him vulnerable to strong opponents baiting this option. Yet paired with his excellent frame 1 anti Year throw, he was strongly considered for today's video essay and certainly worth the honorable mention. Finally, while DBS Broly's Eraser Blow rivals Z Broly in terms of reversal properties, it wasn't enough to grant him the edge with a plethora of mechanics offered by the rest of today's contenders. However, it's a fantastic option at his disposal and certainly should be accounted for when combating a seasoned veteran of the character. And one last note, while most level 3s come with frame 1 invincibilities, there are specific supers that are designed with reversal intentions. I'd like to take a moment to highlight the exceptional nature of Cooler's reversal level 3, Frieza's knockdown super, Fidel's Gohan counter, and Super Baby's monkey level 3. Nothing is quite as demoralizing than being hit for massive damage and insult when your opponent correctly punishes your pressure by activating these exceptional supers. For my money, I'd say the great Saiyaman reversals are up there in terms of maximum insult, as watching him dance over your down character post KO sends a firm message that's guaranteed to induce salt in even the most seasoned combatants. And now, today's top two. Number two, Jiren. There are considerable arguments to consider Jiren the best counter character in the game, as his toolset is specifically designed to prey on your playstyle. His quarter circle back, light, medium, and heavy motions are 4 frame, 4 frame, and 1 frame reversals respectively that can counter highs, mids, and low attacks, perfect for placing at the end of block strings to punish mashers. Additionally, his quarter circle forward special is a 4 frame guard point that completely nullifies projectiles. This property is also given to his B assist, giving him excellent versatility as a support character. Yet we all know why he's landed in today's top 2, the big boy counter affectionately known as TRY SOMETHING. 
I recently called this special projectile the worst move in Dragon Ball Fighters pre-season 3.5, as it was easily a weaker version of Janimba's counter that could lead Jiren to an untimely demise at the hands of baited level 3s. Yet the glow up has been astonishing, as this move now counters everything on frame 4 from normal, specials, and even dragon rushes. This alone makes it a contender for the best reversal in the game, and has given Jiren priority on many of season 3's recent tier list. While you can still punish him with a swift level 3 at some distances, nobody wishes to be on the receiving end of this reversal, particularly when Jiren has the meter to back up his damage. He's a fantastic pick that can now exploit one of the best mechanics in the game, and brings him ever closer to his in-universe counterpart. And now number 1, UI Goku. Of course, while the arguments for Jiren in today's top spot are exceptional, I have to give it to UI Goku for having the most complete counter toolset in the roster. He comes equipped with a true double-sided DP, as mentioned previously, an incredibly strong 4 frame reversal that can be done sequentially with little fear of being punished on the ground and in the air, a unique wake-up option that can ignore Oki and be chained into a fully service level 1 super reversal for maximum DHC damage and layers of mix. On top of all this, his flip rickas are completely immune to level 3 beam supers and have exceptional invulnerability and chain ability into his aforementioned 4 frame EX counter, while also sporting a solid 6 H reversal that can track to the opponent and leave him plus enough to punish Vanish escape attempts. From a completely biased standpoint, he appears to have all the strengths of the previous counter archetypes such as Jiren, Janimba, Hit, and others on this list, with next to none of the trade-off. Not to say there isn't considerable counterplay to Yua Goku, but when considering the best reversals in Dragon Ball Fighters, the pure plethora and utility he offers your team places him firmly into today's top spot. And that's our list. What did you think? Do you agree with today's top picks? As always, this is just one man's opinion, so I'll link the frame data excel sheet I use when researching this video down below so you can follow up with your own input. And if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. I appreciate you dudes more and more every single day. As always, I have been the Dr. Blue, and you are incredible. I'll see you in the next video.